Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome back, and it has been a hot minute. This is just me being silly, posing in front of the camera, and I am so grateful and appreciative to have you back here with me. I really hope that you'll participate in the whole video. We'll be working on some squats and hip openers, so it'll be pretty gentle, a lot of standing and then a bit of work on the mat. All you will need is a mat and keep in mind that the next few videos will probably be inside as it is very cold here in Northern Ireland. Let's go ahead and get started. Feet hip width apart, standing in Tadasana Mountain posture top of your mat. Pressing into all four corners of the feet, you stand nice and tall, elongated spine, kneecaps lifted and active. Take a deep breath, inhale, reaching those arms up overhead as you squat down. Now we don't need to hit parallel, guys, as we're just warming up. Deep breath, inhale, return to standing, arms overhead. On that exhale, go again. Inhale, standing up tall. Keep going, exhale, and you feel your gluteals, your bum cheeks lengthening as you go to sit back. Keep watching, following along, listening to my instructions, you're doing great. Keep your core tight, especially as we go to sit back. Inhale, feel that length, then sit bones down. Exhale, squeeze at the bottom to stand tall. That core is tight. Keep those arms up, elbows extended. You're so strong. Keep going, we're going a little deeper now. Maybe you're hitting parallel here. As you begin to feel those legs warming up. Keeping those heels grounded. That was our last one. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to move on next. Standing on the mat, Tadasana. We're going to take a step back with your right foot. Just in a small lunge here. Now your right hip is pulling forward and your left hip back. That right knee is extended, your heel raised and toes pointed forward. Deep breath and heel, raise your arms to parallel. As you exhale, twist your upper body to the right. Inhale, return your right arm center. Exhale, windmill right arm open. And we'll stick with this same side on that exhale, opening for three. Inhale and back. Fantastic. Hands to hips. We'll take a big step forward into chair posture. Your feet together in that squat from before. Like you're sitting back into a chair. This is going to be great for strengthening your knees. Keep your core tight. Sit bones pointed down. Thighs firm. Arms up overhead, you got this. Deep breaths, don't forget to breathe. Come on, breathe deeper. On that exhale, standing tall. You're a star. Okay, now we'll move on. Tree posture or standing posture, now you're balanced on your left leg. Taking the sole of your right foot to that left ankle, I want you to do your best to keep your pelvis facing forward. As you keep that balance, opening up that right hip, pointing your right knee out. Deep breaths, focusing on your gaze point. 
a spot that isn't moving like the floor or the wall. And that's all there is to it. Well done. Now we'll take the opposite side. Okay, so this time, take a step back on your left leg. Deep breath, inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms together into the heart. Ready? Step back, left. Left hip forward, right hip back. Back heel raised, toes forward. Inhale, arms parallel. Open that left arm out. Exhale, center. We'll go again, inhale, left arm, opening up that chest, reaching, and exhale back. We go one more, can you go any lower in that lunge? Inhale, left arm, exhale, return. Hands to heart, shifting your weight forward to that right, then step forward into your chair posture. You're sitting back into your imaginary chair. Deep breaths. It's easy to forget to breathe, so we have to remind ourselves, get those arms extended up overhead. Sitting lower if you can. here with you. Well done, standing tall on your next exhale. Okay, we'll take our tree posture next. So you are balanced on your right leg this time. And the left sole of your foot is in the right ankle. Keeping your pelvis facing forward as best you can. And you should know that the Sanskrit for this posture, if I can pronounce it, is Frikshasana. Hold it, breathe, kneecap is lifted, pressing into all four corners of that balancing leg. Pressing the palms of the hands together or you could take your hands to your hips. And maybe you notice one side was easier to balance than the other. Okay, Tadasana, top of your mat. Inhale, reaching those arms up tall overhead. And exhale, forward fold as we take the palms together and to the heart. You shift your weight back to the heels of the feet as you begin to fold forward from your hips and not the lower back. You fold from your hips. Keep those knees bent as you take a hold of your elbows and take a gentle rock from side to side. Forward and back. Give your head a little swing as though you are nodding to say yes. Okay, so bear with me. Deep breath and heel, bending those knees into a squat. And you're going to hook index finger, thumb around big toe or just hold on to your ankles. The idea is to elongate the spine and on your exhale, you raise those hips up, broadening into the backs of your legs. Keeping a micro bend in those knees, okay? You never lock out your knees, always keep a micro bend. Deep breath, inhale, shoulders back and down, elbows extended, squat. Exhale, raise the hips up, folding deeper. Opening up the backs of the legs, let go of your neck and head. Maybe give it a little nod. And we'll go again, deep breath, inhale, sending your tail out behind and the crown of your head forward. Elongating the spine, exhale, folding, going deeper each time. We'll go a couple more. You're doing so great. Keep it up. Inhale. Elbows extended long. Spine, shoulders back. Exhale. Allowing that breath. 
to take you deeper into this posture. Last one, make it your best. Inhale. And exhale. We'll go for one more swing, nice and gentle. Give those arms a little swing, shoulders tuck back and down. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, curling back up each vertebrae at a time, your head the very last. As you stack each vertebrae to standing tall at the top of your mat. Give yourself a moment. Give yourself a little swing of the legs or the feet. Moving on. Okay, we're going to go for a round of goddess squats so your feet are wider than your knees. Toes pointed out at 45 degrees and it's important that your knees are in line with big toe. Relax your shoulders, standing tall, kneecaps lifted. Deep breath, inhale. On that exhale, we're just going to go for it. Begin to bend your knees in line with big toe. Squeeze your glutes, your booty, so you're tucking the pelvis slightly, you see here. Keep your ankles at 90 degrees. This is important, guys. Exhale. Squeeze your inner thighs, outer glutes to stand up tall on that exhale. We'll go again. Palms off the hands together or on your hips. On that exhale, you're ready. Go again. Weight it equally on both left and right side. Only go as far as feels comfortable. There should be no sharp pain if there are sharp pain come out of this. Deep breath and heal. And on that exhale, standing tall. And you should know that the Sanskrit for this posture is Utkata Kanasana. Deep breath, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, palms up the hands together to the heart as you go deeper now into your goddess. Strengthening the legs, the hips, the core. Stretching your hips and inner thighs on that exhale, standing tall. Of course, we're still working to improve our balance after wakening our balance up with our tree posture from before. Let's go another one, deep breath, and heel. Exhale, palms of the hands together. Maybe you go a little bit deeper this time. Maybe not. Either way, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And you're doing great. You're prepared for this. You got this. It should be challenging. You should feel warm. Keep those ankles at 90 degrees, knees in line with big toe. Weighted equally left and right. Deep breath, inhale, exhale to stand up tall. We love a bit of blood flow. Balancing all the chakras. We'll go again. Deep breath, inhale, can't get enough of these. Exhale. Go for it. Maybe you notice you're going deeper each time. Awaken that inner goddess. Balancing our energies. Relax the shoulders. Even notice between your shoulder blades that we're not slouching but keeping that height as though a piece of string from the top of the head were pulling us up to stand tall throughout the spinal column. Legs are strong. Deep breath. Inhale on that exhale. Come on, use your strength in the thighs. Standing tall. Shuffle the feet together. We're nearly there, guys. Okay, so Tadasana Mountain Posture. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, step back, right leg. Into our lunge and that right hip forward. That left hip is pulling back. Maybe you could go a bit lower this time. Keep that heel raised, toes pointed forward. You can't see here, but as you inhale, reach your hands up overhead. Now as you exhale, we're gonna float that right knee down to the ground. Now that will take a wee bit of work if it is not accessible to you today. Use your hands or a block to get down to the mat in this low lunge. And that leg, ankle, or 90 degrees in the left. 
Keep your pelvis, your Pilates compass pointed forward, your pubic bone drawn forward, little tuck in the pelvis. Inhale, reaching your arms up overhead as you exhale, folding forward. Hands to the inside of the left leg and as you inhale, you're reaching that left arm up overhead. Exhale to return. We'll go again, inhale, left arm, same arm, reaching up, opening up that chest, getting a gorgeous twist in our spine, and exhale, slowly returning. Go again, deep breath, inhale, inviting a new, fresh energy, and as you exhale, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. We're going to get deeper into the hip here. Shuffle your left foot out to the side of your mat and come up onto the outer edge of your left foot. Hands are still to the inside of this left leg. And you're opening that knee out to the side. Tuck your pelvis forward. Keep those muscles active. This should feel challenging, but we're warmed up ready for this, if you feel any sharp pain don't go as far and if it is within your practice then you may walk down onto your forearms. This is one that I am still getting the hang of but again we're exactly where we're supposed to be. And maybe you want to play around here, maybe Notice how it feels in your forearms if that is accessible. Maybe you want to stay on your hands, that's fine. And here I am using my hand to gently push that knee away. Very gently. Never forcing, never forcing the body. Your body is working for you to help it, we want to restore it, we want this to feel good. Accessing new levels, new heights, walk those hands back into our low lunge and return that left foot back. Let's take a recovery posture here with your knees wider than the hips and all fours tabletop, big toes together, deep breath inhale as you exhale, send your hips back to child's posture. Or balasana. Keep those shoulders tucked back and down your neck long, the crown of your head resting. Maybe you notice one hip is lower than the other. Okay, we're ready for the opposite side, so just curl back up to table and then return to your knees. We have to return to standing first. So if you have a block on hand, a table, a chair, use it. Step your left foot forward. Back toes are curled under, hands to the inside of left leg. Raise your right knee, that back knee. Hands are now either side of the left foot, shifting your weight forward to the left. Deep breath, inhale. On that exhale, stepping forward into your forward fold. Take a moment here and exhale, curling back up to standing. Fantastic. Give yourself a moment. Notice how you feel, any subtle changes. You know better than anyone how your body feels. Let's take the opposite side. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, step back, left leg. Okay, so opposite side, left leg back, right foot forward. Pelvis facing forward, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, palms of the hands together into the heart as you now float with control. That left knee down. Keep breathing, allowing us to become comfortable in these postures and you're fixing your alignment with that right hip drawing back and the left forward. 
drawing the pubic bone forward, little tuck in the pelvis. Opening up that hip flexor. Deep breaths, inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to the inside of that right leg. We're now folding forward. And you feel that stretch in your lower back. Inhale, open up, right arm, reaching overhead so you're twisting into that front leg. Exhale, returning up. And we'll go a couple more. Ready? Inhale, opening that chest, noticing between your shoulder blades. Exhaling, return one, two, three. Let's go one more. This posture is one of the best you can do. So good for people who are sitting all day looking at our phones or an office job. It really is fantastic. Now we're going to open up into our lizard posture. So you shuffle that foot to the outside of your mat, to the very edge. Come up onto the outer corner of your right foot. Adjust yourself. And we can see better here now. The camera angle, thank goodness. So keep following along at home. You're doing great. Allow your pelvis to drop forward to the top of your mat. And maybe you give that right knee a helping hand by gently pushing away. And of course, you know that we're taking deep breaths always maybe you walk down onto your forearms maybe you stay in your hands whatever feels natural to you whatever you feel working for your body because we're all created differently and that is the beauty Okay, so return to your low lunge. We're just going to inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, palms off the hands together into the heart. You step that right foot back, hands forward into all fours tabletop. Let's take a recovery posture as you shuffle those knees wider than the hips, big toes together. On that exhale, go to sit back. As close as you can to the heels of the feet, if you even have a block or a pillow to put under your head. If your head doesn't quite reach the mat, that can be normal for some people, just these postures take time to get used to, to get comfortable in, that is normal, so just keep reminding yourself that you're doing amazing. Come up onto your tabletop and then the knees, you step right foot forward, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, hands forward either side of the right foot. You curl the back toes under of the left leg and raise that knee. Deep breath, inhale. Now use that exhale to step left leg forward into your forward fold. Inhale and as you exhale, just curling to stand back up. Well done guys. I'll be seeing you soon. Until then, sending you lots of love and blessings. Namaste.